Hello, Tavanashi. So I just wanted to share something I've learned about YouTube with you, you know, just in case it's helpful to somebody. So one thing you need to understand about YouTube is don't watch your own videos on YouTube. Like if you want to watch your own videos, that's what your hard drive is for. Now, I know when I say don't watch your own videos, you probably think I mean like, you know, like don't view bot or like don't like leave your videos playing for like you know, a six hour loop or something, you know, to like artificially pump up your views. But um, what I actually mean is don't watch your own videos at all on YouTube. Like if you really want to watch your own videos, which is, you know, I mean, I do that, you know, it's like you made something, you want to look on it and see that it is good. Well, the way to do that is watch the video file that you've uploaded. Watch that video file from your hard drive or whatever. Or your SSD, you know, wherever you store that stuff. Uh, don't watch it on YouTube because uh, YouTube does not like it when you watch your own videos. If you watch your own videos, uh, to YouTube has started to become very sensitive to, you know, attempts to exploit the system. And from YouTube's point of view, if you're rewatching your own videos, like if you uploaded a video and you're watching it, it's like YouTube seems to think that's like, you know, questionable. Now, um, it's not just that if you watch your own videos that YouTube will, you know, not double count the views. If you watch your own videos, it seems that the number of views you have, like unique views from like other people actually goes down. And I first noticed this uh, with this video over here, which, um, I mean, I, obviously I wasn't expecting it to, like, hugely take off, you know, like, shorts are usually, like, you know, light-hearted things and all that, you know, not exactly light-hearted, titles in Russian, you know, so, I mean, obviously, and YouTube is, you know, English language platform primarily, so, you know, it's not, not gonna be the, like, the biggest thing ever, but, I mean, that didn't even perform well compared to this incredibly depressing video <laughs> made here, <laughs> so, um, what I uh, figured out is like I went to bed and then I woke up in the morning and it said I had no views. But I had two likes. And like I had shared it with like other people. I had shared it with like specific people who I knew who definitely watched it. And so at one point, like now it says 11 views, but at one point it literally was saying no views, two likes. <laughs> and so like how does that happen? And, well, then, the thing is, what I basically, the conclusion I arrived at, there's several things. One is that I did watch it several times myself, because, you know, I'm a perfectionist, and as soon as I've, like, even my comments, if you see my YouTube comments, you know, they'll notice that they've been edited over and over again. So I did, I did actually watch this a number of times myself, and I shared it with people, and, um, by the way, uh, just to add to that, um, not only should you not watch your own video, uh, from YouTube, but you should also, like, if you want to share it with, like, friends or family or whatever who are, like, actually in the room with you, like, once again, do that from your hard drive, not from YouTube. And so, you know, the, eventually this recovered after, you know, several days, like, to the point where it's no longer saying it's zero views, but, you know, that was a lesson learned. And then I uploaded this video here, which, you know, I uploaded, like, after that. And, and this got a decent number of views for me, and then I basically made sure, like, to not watch it, you know. And, um, I was able to test out my hypothesis actually accidentally that, you know, when you watch your own video, not only does it not count as a view, but they actually take views away from you for doing that. After sharing it, you know, on various platforms, you know, I actually, like, clicked on, the, like, the, just, you know, to see if it took, and, uh, then... At that time, it had like uh, only seven views, and then I clicked on the link, and then it instantly went down to six views. So it's like, it's not that it didn't count me clicking on the link as a unique view, it actually took away a view when I, when I clicked on it, which I think is how it ended up in a situation where like, you know, I had a video with literally, it said no views, two likes. As you can see here, um, you can actually manage your videos and stuff without actually clicking on the video in a way that will like look like a unique view or, you know, whatever. Um, but if you feel like you need to like check comments or whatever, there's also a way you can do that once again other than clicking on the video. Don't do that. Like you can go over here to like um, YouTube Studio, I think it is. You can manage comments here. 
And this will actually show up every single comment you've got if you need to. So you can like manage comments, reply to comments, all of that stuff without actually just like clicking on your own video. And uh, there's other things you can do that can make things worse for yourself. So, um, like if you customize your channel, this is something I used to do, I don't do it now. Um, you can add like a channel trailer, like you can choose the video, and so it's like a channel trailer. So as soon as someone clicks on your channel, they'll start auto-playing that video. And, um, once again, like a featured video for subscribers, I used to have that stuff, like, I used to have videos in both of these places, and I don't. <laughs> because the video I had there, you know, literally went down to zero views. So, um, I think what could be happening there is then every time you go to your channel, then it counts that is uh, you watching your own video, which as I already stated, it doesn't like. And what's worse is if you just go to your channel and the thing starts autoplaying and you stop it and you do something else, um... From YouTube's point of view, then, I think that's really bad because it's like you you watched your own video and then you didn't even finish watching it. So it's like, because the two things YouTube doesn't like, it doesn't like very, very, very short views. Like, you know, like if you watch just a couple seconds of something. But also, it does not like self-viewing. So uh, if you have to watch your own videos, just to conclude, if you have to watch your own videos, you know, watch them from your hard drive. If you want to share it with someone who's in the room with you, once again, do it from your hard drive because YouTube doesn't only do this on based on like your account, like it also looks to you like your IP address. So like if you've got like a friend over or something and you share your video with them and they like watch it on their phone from like your, you're like on your Wi-Fi, you know, that means you're going to have the same IP address. So from YouTube's point of view, you're getting multiple views coming from the same IP address, which is not good. Um, especially if it's your IP address, I assume. I mean, I'm not a, I'm not a YouTube employee. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just saying what I've noted based on my own, you know, experimentation. So, uh, yeah. Anyhow, just basically don't watch your own videos. Um, you can still manage your videos. You can look at, like, analytics. You can, you know, respond, you know. Um, you can do all of the stuff that you might do by just clicking on the video pretty much in other ways that don't cause that kind of trouble. Uh, anyhow, uh, if you like this video, you know, um, feel free to give it a thumbs up. It's not really important because they don't monetize my YouTube channel or anything. This is really just a hobby for me, but you know, I, maybe it helped you. Hope so. Uh, anyhow, take care. Uh, dos te Go. Do not sin again.